Y'all know what it is. Katy Perry. Juicy J. Hey everyone, so if you haven't already seen from the title of this video, this is my Katy Perry Dark Horse music video inspired makeup look. Now this is the look where she's wearing that kind of like brown wig with the studs in the fringe and it's got teal and gold and it looked really really nice and I know a lot of people have done like the purpley coloured one so I wanted to have a go at this one this is my inspired look it's not going to look exactly the same so please don't go in go like it doesn't look nothing like it or anything yes I know it's inspired hence inspired um, I just feel the need to stress that so this is my look for it and I am wearing fake lashes. I've actually managed to put them on properly this time. So if you want to see how to do this look, then just please keep on watching. And the first thing I'm going to take is just an eye primer and apply that all in my lid right up to the brow bone. It's just going to help all the colours last. And make them more vibrant as well. bad girl palette and I'm going to be using this blue colour here and I'm going to be mixing it with this purpley colour from the Vintage Romance palette. So I'm just going to mix those colours together. And what I'm going to do with this is start with a line on the outer corner of my eye and bring it back into the crease just to give it this nice angled look so just start off with a thin just start off with a thin line first and I've applied a bit of tape just to help me with it so bring it so far up and then bring it back on itself so you're cutting the crease Bring it about halfway in and gradually start to make it thicker. Now I'm going to be taking the um, Rimmel 8 Hour Colour Mousse in Mermaid, which is this blue colour, and I'm just going to apply it on this part of my eye, leaving the inner corner clean because we're going to be applying another colour there soon. And this is just going to act as a base for my other colours. So, you want your eyeshadow to go to about there, I'd say. And just blend this outer colour, the um, line that you've already made, in with this blue. So it's not too harsh, but it also gives it a nice gradient effect as well. I'm going to be taking the Maybelline 24 Hour Colour Tattoo in Eternal Gold, and this is going on the inner corner of our eye. We are going to clean up as we go along, so if it doesn't look too perfect to start off with, don't worry about it. Okay, so to go over that colour mousse, I'm going to be taking this colour here from my Chit Chat Ocean Trio. This is just a really nice teal kind of blue, and you just want to pat it over that eyeshadow. This just helps to set the uh, mousse, but also gives it a bit more of a tealy colour. I'm taking this colour from the Vintage Romance palette and that one's going over the gold colour. I'll just go back in with the brush that I used to apply the teal eyeshadow and just blend it slightly. Not too much, just a little bit, so you've got like a gradient going on. 
Okay, so where this dark blue, I've got a harsh line here. I'm just going to take my brush and just blend it. So it's not as harsh. Go back to my bad girl palette and just take this white shade here. And this is going to be my highlight for my brow bone. But I'm going to bring it down so that it meets the... Uh, eyeshadow as well. Then I'm just going to go back in with that brush with the darker blue on it. And just add a bit more and then blend it out again. do is I'm going to be taking this black shade from the Bad Girl palette and I'm going to use this as a guideline for my um, liquid liner. So what I'm going to do is do the two wings like I've done here and then we're going to add the other lines in that Katie's wearing. Now this is an inspired look and I do feel the need to stress that it's not completely the same it's inspired. So I'm just going to take my black liner and do the first wing on the top lid first and bring it to a point in the inner corner and then go out up until it meets the tape and then I'm going to remove the tape and just add that little winging first. So just start off with the liner on your top lid, just bring it up to a slight wing, don't bring it up too much. Now I find that it's easier to do your eyeliner first in an eyeshadow and then go back over it with a liquid liner because then you've got your eyeshadow as a guideline. And you can just clean it up with the liner, the liquid liner. So you should have something like that. Now just remove your tape and it should be, should leave you with a sharp wing. And as you can see, my um, they're not the same on both eyes. But don't worry about it because you're not going to get it perfectly symmetrical unless you're like good at getting things perfectly symmetrical. So I'm just going to add in this second wing, starting my lower lash line and just bringing it out slightly. You want it parallel with the top wing. Now before I apply the liquid liner, I'm just going to take a black eyeliner. I'm just going to take a black pencil eyeliner and line both my upper and lower water lines, just so there's no fleshy bit showing. And I'm just going to take my felt tip line, you can use liquid liner if you want to, I'm just going to use this one because it's easier for me, and just go over your black liner. What I'm going to do is just go in with the teal called glitter and go over the um, eyeshadow that we applied, but don't cover up the dark colour here. the same with some gold and just go over the gold part of the eyeshadow. Okay and so while that's drying on my lid what I'm going to do is take that gold again and where your top wing is you want a line of gold up there just like here if you can see it I don't know if you can or not but just like a little line of gold not touching the bottom wing. Now you could leave the look like this if you wanted to and just 
have it like this but I'm going for the full inspired Katy Perry look so that means I'm going to do the designs underneath her eyes as well so what I'm going to do is first of all start with the design under this eye which is just kind of like a line that follows the underneath so what I'm going to do is take my black eyeshadow again and just guide out my line so you want to start from the inner corner something a little like that so what I'm gonna do is just take my felt tip liner and go over that just to make it look bolder and to set it as well Okay, so the one on this side is a little bit harder, but thankfully what you're doing is where you've already applied the black eyeliner under your eye, you're just really following that. So what you want to do is if you start from the inner corner of your eye, I've got to try and talk and do this, this is going to be good. So um, start from the inner corner of your eye, get to about where the beginning of your, the colour in your eye starts, depending on where you're looking, I'd say about a quarter of the way in and just curve it down to a point. I am using the liquid liner for this by the way. And then you want to curve it round. And this is where you might need to just start from the other end of your eye. Bring it down. And you want to kind of loop something like that it's not super perfect but it's okay filling in a little something like that all I've just done is just gone back and redid this bit because you kind of want it in line with your wing and your eyebrow. So you want the end of it just in all in line, kind of like that. So what I'm gonna do now is just curl my lashes. And instead of applying mascara, I'm gonna attempt to apply some false lashes. So here we go. And these are just kind of like natural looking ones, but they look pretty good for this. What are you doing? My computer's talking to me. And the thing about these as well is they have a clear band. So they are fairly easy to hide. I've just dropped it. some glue to them so I just applied a pair off camera just to make sure that I could do it and I don't know if you can tell the difference or not but now I'll just apply this pair on camera seeing as these, these seem to stick a lot better than the other false lashes that I was trying to use if you watch any of my Halloween ones you know how much trouble I actually have applying false lashes so I'm just going to apply some glue to them So then I'm just going to use my tweezers to apply them. Just looking down into my mirror. Placing them as close to my own lash line as possible. And there we go. Woo, I've actually managed to put false lashes on, <laughs> false lashes on properly. I can't even speak now. 
Okay, so just while they're drying, I've noticed that she's got like gold between these two bits of line here and also just kind of white outline in this. So I'm just going to add that in. So you just want to start from here in the corner. Just go between the two lines. And then I'm just going to outline this one. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my bronzer and first of all just contour my cheeks. I'm going to take this blush from Sleek, which is in rose gold. Gorgeous colour, this. I'm going to apply it to my cheeks. Okay, so I've already moisturised my lips with the Maybelline Baby Lips. Now I'm just going to take this Makeover Essentials Lip Liner. It's kind of like burgundy colour. I'm just going to line my lips with this. So my camera decided to cut out and all I've just done is just filling my lips with that lip liner. What I'm going to do now is just take this lipstick which is a Hello Kitty lipstick which I found in Superdrug um, in the accessorise bit for some reason. No idea why, it was just there. Um, so this one is called Urban Punk, it's just a nude colour. So I'm just going to go over that lipstick. over it with a bit of this lip gloss from natural collection can't speak so that was the video as i probably say in the video i don't actually think i do um this look does demand a lot of time and a lot of patience because i was getting really frustrated with this bit and i ended up having to redo it off camera because i didn't do it right on camera so um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you've got any requests, then again in the comments on Instagram or Twitter with at Fallen Makeup and then hashtag Fallen Requests or Fallen Question if you want to ask me a question. I hope you're all having a good day and I shall see you all soon. Bye. So you want to play with magic? Boy, you should know what you're falling for. Baby, do you do?